We're traveling back to Colombia now with um, a dual presentation from Monica Cortes from AS Down, Colombia, and Natalia Acevedo from Pro Familia. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Natalia Acevedo, and I am here representing Pro Familia, one of the four organizations that have joined forces to work around this project, My Sexuality, My Right. My Sexuality, My Right is a project that aims to raise awareness around the sexual and reproductive rights of people with intellectual and psychosocial disabilities. This under the inspiration of Article 23 of the CRPD. But you may wonder, why is it important to talk about sexuality when there are other topics that we are worried about? Let's see. There are many stereotypes about the sexuality of people with disabilities. For some people, it's still hard to imagine someone with an intellectual disability falling in love, being a parent, or having sexual desire. For this reason, many women with disabilities are still being sterilized, not only in Colombia, but in many parts of the world. They suffer from higher rates of sexual violence and comprehensive sexual education or reproductive health services are not accessible or available. For this reason, we decided to join forces with these four basic stakeholders, people with disabilities in the center of this initiative, their families and caregivers, the health sector, and decision makers. Throughout the last six years, we have been working around these four strategies. First, we have empowered and trained young leaders with disabilities around their sexual and reproductive rights. Now we have over 120 leaders in six cities of Colombia that are ready to talk and advocate for their rights. Second, we have worked really hard and we have created a comprehensive health model that allows people with disabilities to access sexual and reproductive health services respecting their confidentiality, their autonomy, and supporting their decision makers, the, their decisions in topics as important as contraception and consent. Now this model is working throughout the 33 clinics of Profamilia in Colombia. We have also advocated for change. And in 2017, we got the Minister of Health of Colombia to enact a resolution that explicitly prohibit any forced treatment on people with disabilities and also makes accommodations and consent mandatory for all health providers in the country. Finally, we have done some research and knowledge production. We have created segregated data and we are happy to share these reports with you at the end in our stand. Now I give the word to my colleague, Monica. Good morning, uh, excuse me, good afternoon. My name is Monica Cortez. I'm representing here uh, Family Voices. Um, and also we work with person with, uh, and also the work that we do with person with intellectual disabilities in this project, including my son, Alejandro, who is my inspiration. Continue with our project presentation, uh, what do we want to replicate? We want to replicate a comprehensive model that includes strategies to impact all stakeholders that Natalia mentioned. How? Sharing uh, our knowledge and experience, share tools and provide technical assistance to different actors. Where we want to uh, scale up our practice in different regions of Colombia and in other countries of Latin America. Who are we looking for? We are looking partners that work on gender and disability rights, health institutions that want to make services inclusive for all, families and people with disabilities that want to talk about sexuality and reproductive rights. And finally, donors that want to invest in the replication and strengthening the, this practice. Now I want to leave you with this quote from 1992 by Anna Finger that represents the sense of our project. 
Natalia, please read. Sexuality is often the source of our deepest oppression. It is also often the source of our deepest pain. It's easier for us to talk about and formulate strategies for changing discrimination in employment, education, and housing than to talk about our exclusion from sexuality and reproduction. We hope you can join us in the defense of sexual and reproductive rights of people with disabilities. Thank you for the opportunity to share our experience in this important event. Thank Thanks. you.